I'm excited to welcome up Susan Bratton, CEO of Saver Health. Great to have you, Susan. Um, Great to be here, Logan. All right. I, I understand you are um, helping patients fight cancer through nutrition. So yes. we're going to get into that today. Okay. Um, yeah, really excited to have you. We always start these interviews with really kind of pulling way back and talking about those big audacious goals that give us kind of the why behind these, these companies. So what's the health moonshot for Saver Health? So the health moonshot for Saver is to leverage artificial intelligence and machine learning to provide cancer patients with highly personalized, clinically and contextually appropriate nutrition support and nutrition management, symptom management, in order to help them be more adherent to therapy, have better outcomes, to prevent costly ER visits and hospitalizations, and most importantly, to empower them with independence, control, and a sense of hope. Got it. Uh, how did you get into this? Did you come from the cancer background, the nutrition background, both? Neither. Neither? <laughs> no. I used to work on Wall Street. I was a healthcare services investment okay. banker. And in 2009, I lost a very close friend to a glioblastoma. And long story short, I just could not believe that my friend was told, nutrition doesn't matter, eat whatever you want. But as a healthcare person, I knew that evidence-based literature is how medicine is practiced. So I started looking into the literature and I found nutrition matters and it matters a lot. And so I thought, well, if there are people out there like my friend who are struggling with this issue, I'm gonna help them. So you built uh, Ina, uh, a digital assistant, uh, this, this AI chatbot, right? Yes. So walk me through, if I'm someone who is um, working through cancer, working through a, we're trying to recover from cancer, and I am talking to my chatbot, kind of walk me through that process. What, what is it, what's the experience like for a consumer? So the experience um, for the consumer is like you and I texting with each other. So once they provide us with their phone number, Ina reaches out and says, Hey Logan, how are you doing today? Are there any symptoms that are bothering you? And you can say, yes, I'm having mouth sores. And Ina will provide you with tips to prevent and manage mouth sores, including things like recipes and other side effect management tips. But we also incorporate, what are your comorbid medical conditions? What's your height and weight? What's your BMI? Do you need to lose weight or gain weight? And importantly, what do you want to eat and what are other things like food allergies that concern you? So that it's contextually appropriate for you, not just based on your cancer, not just based on your side effects, but also what other medical conditions do you have and what do you want to eat? Yeah, is that handled all through the, the AI chatbot in terms yes. of understanding other uh, elements of someone's pain and someone's recovery? Asking yes. them questions. Yes. So there's a there's a uh, intake process where we start with a couple of key questions, mm -hmm. and then over time we build that longitudinal patient record to understand all of those other variables. Got it. Got it. Got Not it. all in one sitting because you know these are very tired, very fatigued people. We don't want to make them answer 40 questions before they get anything of value. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about kind of where you're at now, kind of what you're really excited about coming out of 2019 into 2020, uh, partnerships, traction, anything. Sure. So coming out of 2019, I think the thing that I'm most excited about is we launched Ina, and we launched Ina with Bayer Pharmaceutical Company. Oh, wow. Great. We also launched some major advocacy partnerships with Longevity and Cancer Care. And we uh, signed up two clinical trials, one with Novartis and one with MD Anderson, and those are starting right now. What do those trials look like? You say you launched with Bayer. What does that really mean? What it means is that Ina is offered alongside one of their drugs okay. as a support tool to help them be more adherent and to get through therapy. Almost like better. they're prescribed it. They're prescribed the, the platform it, in a way? It's not prescribed yet, but yeah. that's a goal. That's a goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. And in, in 2020, things you're really looking forward to? A um, couple of things. I'm very excited about the, getting the clinical trial data. So by September of this year, we'll have preliminary data looking at the impact of INA on uh, uh, clinical endpoints. Okay. And the second thing is, is we're bringing on a big data, data science team, and so I'm looking very forward to kind of building out that component of the platform. Nice, nice. Um, why, is it, why is it important to come to events like the Startup Health Festival? What does this mean for Saver Health to be here? Um, so Steve said something upstairs just a minute ago, and it was about collaboration and tackling really big, complex problems
together. And the fact of the matter is we can't all do this on our own alone. Mm -hmm. And so this event is amazing because we're all working together and collaborating. Yeah. Um, I think that's all the time we have. I hope this next couple of days for you, Susan, are incredibly fruitful and just couldn't be more excited about the work that you're doing at Saber Health and uh, working on the Cancer Moonshot. So, uh, thank so, you, Logan. Thank Great you. to see you. Thank you very much. All right.